gonna need these. And I'm gonna need this. All right, well, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna finally get my exhaust done so I could just get it starting with the 240. I do have to drive an hour out of the way to get it done and I'm about to get gas right now. I'll just let you guys listen to the exhaust right now even though it's inside, but I have a fat exhaust leak. Not the worst sounding exhaust, but I don't really like it. $46. Got a full tank of gas ready to go to San Jose, and I have to go to San Jose tomorrow because of Weckfest, Weekfest, whatever you say. Because Weekfest is tomorrow, and I have to support my friend RJ. It's gonna be sick. His car turned out dope. I'll let you guys know when I'm there. So, the exhaust shop that I'm going to was actually recommended by Eliminate. I heard good things about it from my friend RJ, the one that's showing his car tomorrow. So, I'm taking his advice and I'm hoping for the best. The exhaust I have on the car right now is an ISR GT single exit. It came with the car, I had no choice. From the previous owner being pretty low, it is destroyed. I'm gonna get the resonator replaced with a pipe and install the blast pipes that I got from my friend Patrick as well. We are here, I think. If you want them, my friend, let me finish with this one. Okay, we are at Andy's shop, Classic Mufflers. It was recommended by Eliminate. I'm gonna see how he does, but the car's up in the air and you could see how much the exhaust has been scraped up on that resonator's toast. The flange is no more, but um, yeah, we're gonna see what he does. Yeah, huh? Right? Yeah, beautiful. Woo! That's good. Uh, yeah. Ended up not needing these. I'll just do one of these at home because he wasn't able to get it disconnected. Trash. Oh my god. Thank you, Andy. No problem. <laughs> good, good. Is it louder? Oh, wait. Hold on. All right. Whoa. I'm purposely not gonna go loud because I want to get my reaction on this. Oh man. First scrape in the exhaust. Not too shabby. Oh my god, it's pretty loud. Oh god, it's too loud. <laughs> Damn, it's pretty loud, like significantly louder than it was just driving normally. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing though. Is that a good or bad thing? Whoa, 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 that 
that sounds cool. It has that like rasp, that KA rasp that I never had. Whoa, that sounds like V-Tech, bro. You'll probably hear it better uh, with the camera pointing at me. thousand rpm I'm gonna go all the way to like five or six yeah so it has like a high-end rasp it's like I like it but I don't I'm never really that high up in the RPM anymore anyway Finally back. Oh my god, let's see how it held up. I feel like it's pretty wiggly, honestly. drive home was pretty brutal it is kind of ear piercingly loud i'd have to deal with it for the time being i would assume that it's best to put a resonator on to get rid of the i guess rasp isr blast pipes let me know what you guys think i think andy did a great job on the car better than all the other shops around this area and I actually got on the lift. Time to put this thing back on 17s because if it was on 17s and I was there, it'd be pretty bad. I was already scraping with 18s and yeah, I don't know. Let me just go home and put the smaller versions of these on and we are good.